Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. United Community Bank, an independent, family-owned and operated bank committed to empowering customers to achieve their financial goals. Member FDIC. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today with Marsh Koska. Hi, Marsh. Hi, Hank. How are you doing today? Tremendous, and Marsh is a president of the Frazee Sportsman's Club. And you've got a couple of events coming up here, Marshall. Yes, we do. Uh, one event we're starting out this year, a new one that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting on a fishing derby, and we're gonna be holding it out on uh, Eagle Lake. It's gonna be uh, our first annual, and uh, the February 3rd, so we're about a month away from getting ready to be out there and catch the big one. Well, yeah, you know, so, so we're uh, going to let a bunch of people come out and punch their own holes in the ice and, and, and uh, look for that 500-pound uh, sturgeon. Yes, we're going to be doing that. Um, we're going to be have it set up out there. It's going to be, you know, for all ages, and uh, we're going to have different categories set up so that uh, for the adults, there'll be game fish and pan fish. Same as for the younger ones, we'll be doing that. Um, we're going to have uh, a couple main prizes we'll be giving away. Uh, the Derby is going to run, we're going to set it up on February 3rd. And it's going to run from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Um, you're going to be responsible for your own holes. The whole lake, Eagle Lake, is all inclusive in it. You can fish anywhere on the lake. And, uh, you know, we're going to take off from there. And uh, we'll be set up at uh, uh, the old Fireman's Park there where actually we maintain the boat launch. Yes, we'll be set up there. We're gonna ask gonna be the check-in and uh, weigh in and everything on it. So when you catch your, your trophy, do you wanna get it up there? Uh, you know, we got a few you know regulations that we wanna go through with that. Um, you wanna bring your fish up, you wanna get it up there right away. We want it wiggling when you bring it in. And uh, you gotta make sure you bring your derby ticket so that you are a contestant there. And um, like I say, we'll have, have that. Roads are going to be marked and everything out there. Um, unlimited entries. I mean, if, you, if you're pulling them in, keep bringing them in and registering and, and see where you end up with it. Um, like I say, you're, you can only win once per class. You couldn't win the whole tier of them. Um, like I say, the ties will be determined by the fish registered by the time because we're going to mark them down. So couple guys come in they got the same size fish whoever registered in first would be the winner on it um, you can use ice houses you can bring them out um, it's all going to be current to the Minnesota you know game rules too you have to follow them so uh, now what is the cost of this uh, what we're gonna have it's gonna be a $10 ticket and uh, like I say that's uh, you and you can purchase as many of them as you want but we are gonna limit it to 300 so that way we can, you know, it's, it's enough people that can be out there and have a good time. And there are a few little regulations with the state we got to abide by. So that's where we're going to set our limit at. Well, I appreciate you being on the program and talking about this. So remember, February 3rd, noon to 4, Eagle Lake Park, right outside of Frazee. Come, bring your $10, bring your fish house, bring the family. Come on out. Let's see what we can catch. You never know what. We could catch Nessie. Yes, we could be out there, and she'd probably bump it along under the ice. <laughs> and with that, we'll be right back with Marshall and another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. The City of Frazee and Frazee Events Center, featuring a 5,000-square-foot room, a built-in stage and a full-service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. Frazy Community Club, people and business coming together to make the community fun, friendly, and thriving. Become a member and help support your community. Frazy Vergas Forum, locally owned and operated, bringing you news for the Lakes area in print Welcome or online. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazy. I'm still Frazee here Forum. with Marsh Koska, president of the Frazy Sportsman's Club. And besides the fishing derby we just talked about, we've got another event coming up in March, don't we, Marshall? Yes, and that's going to be our annual raffle. 
and we're going to be bringing that up, and that's going to be coming up on March 10th at the Frazee Event Center. And we have that set up, and, and that's kind of a late afternoon into the early evening time that that runs. And I'm sure most of you are all familiar with it. A lot of you guys have been coming to this for years, and uh, it's a fun time for everybody. Um, with that, we're going to be selling uh, $10 tickets for that also. We got seven main prizes. Um, we're going to have a $1,000 first prize. Uh, one we always do is a nice gun safe, somewhere around a 18 to 24 count. Uh, we're going to have a real nice grill this year to give away, $500 cash. We're going to have a Yeti cooler set up that we're going to be giving away. We did that last year and that went over real well. Um, we're going to do a $350 gift certificate to Jeans Sport Shop in Purim and also a $250 certificate to Ketter's Meats and Frazee. Well, I know this is, like you say, this is our main fundraiser for the year, you know, and it's $10, $10 for a ticket. We only sell 1,200 tickets, and we have door prizes galore. And you buy your ticket, you show up, you, you, you're just about bound to win something. Everybody, yeah, I would tell you what, it's, it's, it's got to be the bad luck of the draw if you don't walk out with, with a door prize. And we try to have it, too, so that all the kids get something. Everybody's... Everybody's a winner for the young people, and, and that gets them wound up on it. And uh, there's a lunch that's going to be served. Uh, it's not included in the ticket. It's also a cash bar that's going to be there. Uh, yeah, and then lots of other prizes, walk-around prizes. Uh, we have an, an outfit that comes in and does a walk-around gun raffle that we have going on. So like I say it, it's uh, a, a phenomenal time for everybody. Well, and this is a great great deal and that's march 10th again and so whenever you see your any of your sportsman's club members around uh by the time this goes on the air we should have our tickets and they'll be not only with a sportsman's club member but they'll be down here at the Frazee municipal liquor store at the uh, on sale side and the off sale side and down at the vf Frazee vfw and okay lumber company so you know we have a uh, and a lot of our other supporters around Perm and Detroit Lakes will have uh, tickets also available for us. But you have to remember, you know, the Frazee Sportsman Club does a lot of things. We put out a lot of money back into the area. Right, and everything that we bring in go does go back into the community. Uh, we use it. We uh, things that we do, we invest in. Uh, at the school, we help out the trap team up there. We're one of the main supporters of that. Robotics club, we, we're big, big with them. One of the main ones we pay, you know, help them get down in their events down, I think it was Kansas City last year. Mm -hmm. uh, we also uh, maintain two boat ramps in the area. We're the largest single uh, supporter of the North Country Trail System. Um, we help maintain couple, the parks in the local area. We uh, support neighbor to neighbor. Um, we uh, Becker County and Otter Tail food shelves. Um, like I say, and, and we, we, we help out, you come to us. I mean, it's not that we're standing here ready to hand out money, but you come to us with a good cause, we'll be, we got you covered, pretty much. Well, and in the past, we've helped out the scouts, we've helped out the band, you know, on their trips to go places. Yes, and, and you know, like I say, so what we get it just recycles right back into the community on it. Um, so like I say, we do that, we, it's, it's an event, we all have a good time, and we make, everybody has a good, the good feeling that we're supporting the community. And what time are our doors opening that night on March 10th, Marsh? Well, are I, we opening at five? Yes, I believe they're gonna be around five o'clock. You can come in and look and see what's going on. Uh, we start doing some of the door prizes stuff around six o'clock, and it you know, cultivates up until I think it's about uh, eight o'clock when we do the grand drawing for the main seven prizes and we go until all everything's given away. Al Kamarsh, I appreciate you being on the program. So we'll look for you on in March for the big raffle and February 3rd, bring the family, let's go fishing. And with that, remember, pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife, and wave at the neighbor. Never know, the next person you wave at could be your next best friend. And we'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Frazee.